So good morning. <laughs> oh. I'm racing against the sun here, just trying to get up to the top of this summit here before uh, the sun broke the horizon. Um, it's not necessarily sunrise what I'm after, it's just the low sun, sun rays coming over this valley behind you there. So I need to make, I need to get on, but I'm being held back by my fitness. lovely uh, mist in all the valleys down below and over Windermere behind me so I'll compose myself and uh, and I'll do this last stretch my god this is not enjoyable at all that is behind me though I guess that's the reward isn't it hopefully we'll be able to make some nice images as well so we'll press on and see what lies ahead I've made it <laughs> and uh, it was worth all the hassle or well not the hassle but the energy and the the effort getting up here so just behind me here we've got the uh, river Brathe what runs up towards Elterwater which is completely covered in mist uh, we've got Windermere to my left here which again is completely covered in mist and coming down to uh, Brathe and right the way around this wonderful valley what leads up to the Langdale Pikes so it's uh, it's worked in my favour massively this e uh, this morning. It's uh, I mean the the best of the light I would say is gone now, but it's I mean it's still glorious. Don't get me wrong, it's beautiful, but it's um, the the light's not as warm as it was just on the thing. Very very nice still, very nice indeed. Um, and the mist's obviously moving around like a blanket, like a carpet, I guess, and it's kind of revealing bits of the river down there. So I've just enjoyed composing that several times, really, as as and when the mist moves, it allows you to see more of the winding river just below. And then just behind me there, we've got Windermere and uh, Skelleth, which is looking absolutely glorious with this wonderful light, what's lifting up and the treetops poking out of the mist. It's absolutely wonderful. But what a beautiful day after, um, you know, weeks of rain and misery, 
it's uh, it's a glorious morning so uh, yeah absolutely fantastic and like I always say you just need to take time to witness it and to enjoy it really because um, you know it's soon gone and uh, as with uh, the weather you know you can get grim days and you can get good days and you've got to enjoy the good days haven't you it spurs you on to keep looking Okay, so it's turned out to be a wonderful morning, absolutely beautiful, really, really atmospheric. We've got a complete inversion over the entire length of Windermere. Um, Windermere and Ambleside, round Luffrig, that's Luffrig Fell just poking out there in the distance. And then we've got all this uh, Skelleth and Elterwater all completely under, uh, under, under fog and mist, so it's quite the spectacle really and um, it's uh, as, the, as, the, as the sun's rising and obviously it's getting uh, much nicer and warmer uh, temperature wise the mist's moving around it's like a, it's like a sea of mist really um, and what that's doing is it's giving me more opportunities to, to make images you can see the, the taller trees in the distance there just poking their heads through the, uh, the mist there and as it's coming and going, various shapes are presenting themselves, coming out and uh, and revealing themselves. So it's it's very dynamic, I would say. It's um, you know if you take the mist away, it's it's too late now. You know the sun's high enough that, um, that it's quite um, harsh the shadows. You know, and it's still lovely. It's still absolutely glorious. But you know, from when you look at what the light was like earlier, it was much more softer and subtle. Um, I wasn't quite in location. Um, probably for the best of the light I was just on that bank there and I got this wonderful birch tree which I've photographed quite a few times and I've made a few shots of that so hopefully they've come out well but um, yeah just really exciting to be honest and and dynamic like I say it's just changing and this added uh, element of mist has really prolonged the shoot really give me a lot more and you could still take photographs now I mean the mist's burning off I would say over Elterwater and it's usually that's usually a hot spot for mist so there is um, it's probably because of the temperatures you know yesterday was like 16 and a half 17 degrees and we're in what mid uh, October um, and obviously as it cools overnight over the body of water it's uh, that's where your mist comes from so yeah all over the river all over Windermere absolutely glorious if you wake up in Windermere today you're gonna look out your window and think oh it's cloudy <laughs> but not if you stood here it's absolutely beautiful um, quite delighted really at what I've managed to capture um, quite difficult shooting into that harsh Sun over there but like I say using the longer lens just picking out these little squares within the scene and it's um, it's providing quite enjoyable in terms of what I can uh, what I can see instead of just the grander Vista which I mean I've got a 360 degree view from here but just picking out little squares is um, is really enjoyable 
these guys are heading somewhere today but um let's do a terence malik and i'll uh, i'll show you So yeah, really good, really, really good. And um, a bit of wind's just picked up now in the last few minutes, but um, what a glorious morning, absolutely brilliant. I've just walked here from my place down there in the mist. And um, very green, a shoot, very green shoot today. But yeah, all right, well, uh, I think I'll leave it there for, for this morning. I'll, um, I'll maybe hang around for a bit and just make a few more it's not often I see this, so I might make a few more long lens shots, and we'll uh, we'll run through some of the images, and we'll uh, I'll show you some of the drone footage I've got. It's uh, it's quite nice to be able to fly over the cloud and fly over the mist, and uh, so yeah, I'll share that with you now. So again, thank you for watching. Thanks for supporting me and my photography here on YouTube. If you'd like to support me further, there's no better way of doing that than a purchase of one of my framed prints. All the photographs I take in my vlogs are available as gallery quality archival prints. Um, framed prints, all handmade and they ship out worldwide, as do my coffee table books, each containing over a hundred images from all over the Lake District. And my uh, annual Lake District calendar, now in its 10th consecutive year. So, there we go. Thank you for coming with me. Thanks for supporting me. I wish you a good week with your own photography. And, uh, yeah. Let's uh, keep our fingers crossed for more days like this through autumn. And I'll see you again on the next video. I'm not quite sure for where from yet. But if it's as nice as this, it'll be great, won't it? Okay, all the best for now. Bye-bye.